Hello all, I've arrived in Victoria, I'm no longer in New South Wales with little Zoya and she's been sick for a few days so I have been looking after her, she's okay now but I have finally got out, <laughs> I am in my dad's four wheel drive at the moment which is interesting, we're in the country, country Victoria where I grew up and I'm about to go to the old op shops and we have to wear masks here and I was thinking about it um, as some of you know New South Wales is going into lockdown but the good thing is mum made all these really cool masks while I haven't been here and I really can't stand running into people I went to school with or yeah because I just hate high school so the best thing is the mask Maybe they won't recognize me. Okay, let's go. op shop location this is spanning over uh, about a week so I I didn't come with much clothes and then everything kind of changed and then I needed more clothes and I got other cool stuff in the meantime so um, anyway I will show you what I got so the first place I first locations I went to I got you know how I do love some of my cookbooks I got these amazing um, vintage cookbooks. This is probably from the 1960s, I would say. You can see the graphics in it. It's pretty cool. Retro. So it's like a Campbell soup cookbook. Uh, I also got a vintage vegetarian cookery one, which was, this is from probably about the 70s. And it's from the USA. So they're cool to look through. Okay, getting onto the clothing, I got this cute, and you can just see the print, 70s. It's like, I don't know if it's, it's been handmade, but I don't know if it is, someone's kind of cut it and up or upcycled it. I've just let down the hem. So what I plan to do with it is put some, like a, another, frill on the bottom and then also make some straps for it so that would be really cute for the summer. I got that one. I got this vintage dress to resell. It is a cotton and you can just see the print there and this is the tag. It is a vintage Leroy. It's made in Melbourne. You can see the measurements were all in inches. It's very cute. I would say it's 50s, maybe late 60s. It, it's kind of a midi length, um, probably about a size six to eight. So that one is gonna be resold. I got this vintage Ninja Turtles. Uh, it is also copyright down the bottom here, USA in 1990. So I'll sell that one. I thought it was pretty cool. For myself, which I'll probably be wearing now because it's cold, I got this really cool midi length tapestry skirt. It's very thick. It's been ho homemade, so that will be pretty fun to style up. Um, just for sort of throw on and go around the house. This will be cute in going to spring. Just a check, a check uh, shirt. 
I got this very cool number. It is vintage and I would say that it is someone has been on a holiday and they bought this kaftan and they haven't sold it. It doesn't look, I mean sold it. They haven't worn it. So you can see the cool, it's all cotton and uh, I'd say it's probably like maybe 80s and it says that it's um it's got a vintage tag and everything so I would say it's probably someone's 80s um holiday thing but it's all cotton so it'd be really cool to wear in summer you know those days where it's like so hot and then you just don't know what to wear because it's so hot so this will be nice for summer when it gets really hot glare Got this cute little corduroy dress, another homemade little dress, a little floral. This kind of reminds me of like 80s Laura Ashley. Um, I also got for her this cute, oh, it's a little bit big for her now, but it's a cute little quilted, it almost looks 70s, but it's not. I think it's a bit more newer little jacket. So I got that for her. And... I also got this handmade little vintage, I don't know if you can see, see the little ducks. So I got that little dress for her as well. And I got this vintage 50s, like was, mm, late 50s because of the print, handmade skirt. It's quite small for me now. I probably, I don't know, I don't know whether to keep it and um wear it maybe next summer but i don't know i was planning to sell it but i'm not sure i'm not sure my family say keep it keep it so anyway that is most of it oh no there's some more things i got some accessories i got this amazing uh belt hold on there you go this would be awesome for summer it's actually like these are all little beads and it is stretchy and it has that cool um, buckle. This would be lovely when you do all white or linen look or maybe like a safari look. So this would be really cool. Uh, I got this. This could be like one of these sort of chain belts. Uh, I, it's a little bit worn on the, on the buckle there. But I don't know, I feel like this is kind of like 90s does 60s when that sort of came around. It's really well made actually, quite quite heavy. So that was cool. Got these really cool earrings, cool fab 80s earrings and these ones. I'm just obsessed with clip ons at the moment. They use like vintage cards to put these on, I thought that was quite cute. So those ones. Okay, so the next place that I went to, I went to Savers. I haven't been there in so long since I met, I have left uh, Melbourne and we moved to Sydney. So it has been years since I've been there, at least three years since I've been to Savers. It's a massive, massive chain of thrift stores and I've got some amazing stuff. I was worried because I went on a Sunday and Sundays usually get picked over really quickly. but. It was funny because around one o'clock, two o'clock is when everyone was pouring into the store. So I think I got all the finds just before everyone else did. Or maybe I'm just looking for certain things that other people aren't. I don't know. But I will show you what I got. So first of all, I got this. And you can see the print. This amazing curtain. I think it's vintage fabric, but I'm not 100% sure. Sure, it is got stains on it, so I will have to wash it. But we will be moving, and in our new home, we're going for a whole different look kind of like vintage boho, a bit of a gypsy, lots of colors, a little bit of 60s, 70s. And I got this amazing curtain. I was like, do I get it? Do I not get it? I was like, no, nah. when you when you see these things, you have to get it. So I got that Some vintage patterns. That one's a cool 60s design, a boys vintage design, and this is like 80s. It really reminds me of 
like a Chanel 80s look, especially in this sort of the jacket in this tweed style. Cute. So I got I got this amazing pink vintage 80s jacket. It has shoulder pads. It's really cool. It's actually vintage Target. So I got that. That'll be cool for now for winter. And I think it is wool. Yes, it's all wool. So beautiful, bright color. Oversized blazer. It's in that hound sooth tooth. Sooth? Tooth? <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of, I'm having this mum brain moment. But anyway, you know what I mean? So it's got these amazing shoulder pads and it kind of drapes down. It's a great fit. I love it. And it's vintage. Jacqueline E, which is Jackie, as some of you will know. I've loved this, and I, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, what is that? This really cool, it's a handmade 60s, like a brunch coat, and I think that I could wear it as either a coat or a duster wear it casual dress it up dress it down i love it i love the print it's it's a beautiful quality cotton i love it and you can tell it's handmade there's the pocket really cute 80s really glitzy made in italy it's got mohair sweater so I got that one. I got this amazing vintage. I don't know if it's, it might be like late 80s, maybe 90s um, shirt. I love, I saw the print, loved it. I mean, you could, you, it's just trans seasonal sh um, shirts like that. And I got this, another amazing print. I'm all about prints at the moment. And you can see it here. And I'm just trying to think. I don't even know what the... But you can tell it's slightly vintage. Maybe maybe 90s. Early 90s. And it's got the tie at the neck. And it does have... Does it have shoulder pads? Yes, it's got shoulder pads. So that's a great, a great print shirt. That one. Which I was surprised at. It is a like a twin set type thing. We've got a skirt, which will be good to wear on its own, or you can wear the top with the skirt. It's got shoulder pads, or you can wear it separate, wear it as a dress, like a dress concept when you have them together. Really loved it. I thought it was a pretty funky kind of print, but a bit feminine, so that's what I loved. And definitely vintage as well. It's got little shoulder pads. As vintage towel and you can see the fun 70s edging so that would be cool I'm gonna sell that one it's a reverse on the other side of the pink and the blue this is like dancing man I think it's a man but I thought it was a lady either way they're dancing they're having fun in like I don't know like Mexico or somewhere like that Oh. little 60s beaded handbag it's actually made in Italy so I thought that was quite fun um, cute little style yes it will fit your phone so many people ask that now yeah but I got these amazing made in Germany leather slides I love them I love that the woven type of shoe I mean, they're a great trans-seasonal piece for going from sort of summer to winter or winter to spring. I mean, in the more hotter climates of where the winter is, these would be great too. A great shoe, great colour. Love, 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 love. So I got those and I also got these, which are a vintage high-waist pant. Um, they are in great tweed, they'll be beautiful with a belt, and they are all wool, as you can see, all wool, got the wool symbol, 
they're lined and they're dry clean only but I got them so cheap that seriously it's worth investing get them dry cleaned um, they've got pockets cute little pocket at the back these are gonna be great for winter and actually these would be great teamed together with those shoes so I think that is everything that I got um, I had the best time I got some great things I got some things for Zoya I got some things for me some things to resell to sort of cover my cost of what I bought and yeah that's everything so I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you want to see more and I will definitely be doing some more thrifting while I'm here in Melbourne uh, I've got some sewing projects that I'm starting so I'm really excited about that I've got all mum's vintage fabric out so I will be starting some of those things I'll actually show you one of the things this is one of the vintage fabrics that we found in mum's collection so we'll be definitely using up some vintage pieces um, some things I'll be selling for mum as well while I'm here so I hope you enjoyed it. I, I had the best fun. I will be showing you how I'm styling it in some photos soon on Instagram. So please follow me on there. But thanks. See you soon. Bye.